Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, where we've infiltrated the Giovanni Mansion last I don't know time. what happened back there, but I know a way through this next part. Can you believe all this? This is like something out of a horror movie. Oh, here it is. We should be safe from here on. This way. I'm not sure why she is still around, but okay. I haven't caught up with me yet. Well, thanks for the help. If you want to show me some some way, then I'm really sorry for just using as a using as a blood donor earlier. Lots of zombies here. Come on. In here. That woman's really helpful. In here. So? In here. So, you back, back, back here or? This way. This way. This is all too much. I'm going back upstairs. You do what you want. Well, good choice. Good choice, Nadia, but thanks. Let's attack the uh, that axe is much better against zombies for whatever reason. Right, right before the level transition. Twelve points that I want to spend on something. Don't think so. Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now, or face the consequences of your actions. Where do you think this anger stems from? Your father, maybe? There is an alliance between your leader, LaCroix, and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate oh. the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. Oh, alliance. Is that another word for untruth? We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? Uh, in the words of George Washington, no can do, Pedro. The time for decisions has passed. We Chang brothers accept your life graciously. But my life is mine. Hey. Oh, that's me. Yo. Yeah, I should. I should now drink this. Oh, 
All right then, guys. Nice fight, but not enough. Um, with these brothers, you really do want to fight them here on the stairs, because if you try and find them in, in the open area, they can teleport, as, as we've seen to some extent, and also they can throw energy balls that hurt a lot. So really, you want to be in this in in this um kind of encapsulated area here where they cannot just attack you from range because they're better at attacking you from range than you could be no matter how good of a gunman you are at this point but we found a bloody sarcophagus great now to get it out of here I should have worn better armor. Damn it. I was wondering why they did so much damage. <laughs> Shit. What was the one? Give me a sec back it. I need to check on something. Uh, hmm. I don't know, man. Well, let's let's talk a little bit. Or we don't. Weird. I really want to talk to Beckett for us now. Not to you. Oh well. My Wunderkind returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally. The Ancoran sarcophagus is ours. Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. All right. It's been sitting under the tree for so long. I can't wait. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You! You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Okay, okay. Chill. Chill, man. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus, if only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. So, what's in the box? So your ear to it. I'll shake it, and, and you tell me what you think's inside. In that was funny. Better idea? Yes, quite astute. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. The guy on the historical network with the pith helmet? He makes learning fun. Uh, no. His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. 
He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. Mm, is he in a bathroom? You can always find mortals in there. Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. It appears he's been abducted. Damn aliens, that's what did it, right? I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. Mm. Neat. I would have taken the opportunity to see if mattresses can fly. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them head first over the side. So the hunters collect archaeologists now? Good, they need a hobby. The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection. Or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used, quite ingeniously, as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. Hmm. All right, I'm a fish. Where's the hook? You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. <laughs> Can I borrow your airship? I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Huh. Well, uh, I want something from your brain. Excellent. So tell me more of this mysterious Leopold character. The society, for the most part, knows very little about us. But they do know how to kill and torture us, and that's enough. Also, some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable. Obfuscate will serve you well around the hunters. So, is the box Pandora's? Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. So, if I was a mirror, who's that person you're staring at? Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Uh. Well, I'm the master of unlocking. You should try breaking into the tomb of an ancient, once you've had your fill of West End townhomes. They're riddled with traps. Always remember to look and listen to your surroundings carefully. Will do. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. All right, all right, to Leopold a creep. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. What idea? What idea? This is all just an illusion, just an elaborate game. Right? All right. Um, we should... We've also not been at, um... The, An the Anarch's place for a while and reported to Damsel, so let's maybe, since we're downtown now, let's also do that, because I have a feeling that uh, no matter if that um, sarcophagus is, actu is actually Pandora's box or not, hell is gonna break loose pretty soon. Also, we have something more for Pisha, so uh, since we're here already, let's pay her a visit as well. Yes. The dead book widow. The voce del morte. 
The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? Well, they never knew I was there, nor did I. Wait, where did I go? It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from this city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before. Well, yeah, Discord hangs over us like a heavy apple on a withering branch. In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war. I think you spelled Leipzig wrong. Well, one can jump high but never escape gravity. Farewell. Alright. Let's also take a look at these new fisticuffs that we that we got from our last battle. Damage potential 28. Uh, it's pretty pathetic. But they deal aggravated damage. Okay, then they might actually be interesting against um vampires because a lot of the vampires we have run in so far and those we're gonna run in later are pretty resi are pretty resistant to most forms of damage but there's a special kind of damage aggravated damage that uh, they'll be quite less uh, resistant to so they won't be too bad against them also probably look pretty badass but for now Do have melee of turn, right? We even have 11. Goddess. So, Halter? What the hell did you want? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Uh, Jack, can we have a talk maybe? It just keeps getting more interesting, doesn't it, kiddo? The Giovanni, the Kuei Jin. Lots of blood being spilled for a 10,000 year old conversation piece, wouldn't you say? Gehenna, the end of the Dark Father. The lid opens. A dark secret, I see. Man, you guys give me the heebie jeebies. Sounds like you know a lot more about something than you're supposed to. Lucky for you, you probably don't understand what you're saying. If you did, I'd be talking to a pile of ash right now. How did your ears catch news of this terrible talisman? The streets, the hillsides, there's eyes and ears everywhere. Well, the Chester has his prize. I heard LaCroix's been talking to Beckett too. Beckett's a skeptic about all this stuff. I just hope he knows to be careful dealing with that snake LaCroix. Yeah, why does the old wolf help the Chester? Well, Beckett's apolitical, you could say. He's just interested in the truth of our origins. Politics and all that and minor details to him. Well, he and the Jester sent me to find the sarcophagus scientist. You do what you have to do. Well, but I don't wish to help him open Pandora's box. Kid, if you don't do it, somebody else will. Well, a dark hand reaches for the lid and reaches out from it. You're in a good position to make a difference, Mr. Bookshot. A lot of kindreds wondering just which way you'll go. Oh well, I'm no longer here. Can we still look back, damsel? Heard anything? Well, the truck quotes the lady from the east. Think they're made for each other. What? Who said it? Well, this guy right before I killed him. Uh, uh, if this is true, this 
Listen, I can't believe even LaCroix's that low, but keep an eye on this. If there's anything I hate more than Cammy's, it's the goddamn Quake Gin. Well, many voices speaking loud, saying nothing more. I thought we had more to report to her, you know, but knowing that LaCroix and uh, the and Ming Zhao apparently are trying to work together, which Cemetery runoff. I can kind of understand from LaCroix's point of view, he needs allies and he's pretty isolated in, in the city, but working together with, with the Kuei Jin, it's a bad idea, man. It's a bad idea. All right, speaking of bad ideas, let's see if um, Larry has got some new shit. My man, what is up? Oh, no, you... Whoa. Interesting. I have a lot of damage potential. Beast damage four. Wow. Larry, where'd you get that, even? Uh, probably don't want to know, I'll be honest. I probably don't want to know, but, but, but I'll buy it. Alrighty, let's also check up on Heather. Maybe she actually has something inter interesting to say than, you know, last episode. Well, she's just master? Master didn't come all this way just to, just just to hear you say master girl. Thought there was something more interesting going on here. So, Heather? Hey. Hey. Heard anything? Oof, many things. Secrets from me only. <laughs> so, what's news? Did you hear the one about the tuna and the chef? Oh, I love that story, man. A tuna walks into a sushi restaurant, says to the chef, Hey, you killed my father. Chef says to the tuna, That's my business, fish. Tuna thinks about it, says, Then I challenge you to a game of chess. If I win... You stop being a chef forever. And if I win, asks the chef, you can feed me to your customers, Tuna replies. So the chef and Tuna play chess. Tunas love to play chess, so in a few moves, the chef was checkmated. Well, looks like I win, says the Tuna. Chef nods and plunges his knife into the fish's belly. But I won, says the Tuna, as he feels the knife wiggling into his guts. So did your father, says the chef. <laughs> yeah, yes, I see. <laughs> Good night and have a pleasant evening. You too. So, Heather? Master? Not here, not here. <laughs> Ugh. Well, that was but that was that, that was great, you know, having having conversations with an, with a newscaster over the TV. Oh, Jesus. The Muse's Muse from Vivi. Oh, I do hope the knights have been kind. You won my mind tonight, and I must admit it was inspiring. I wrote this for you. Death cannot smother love. Dead hearts are not always broken. Plant a kiss on my corpse. Love blossoms. Did you love it, Vivi? It wasn't even rhyming, Vivi, you know? If, you, if you're gonna write poetry, you know? Give it some effort, please. A campaign. Success of a campaign is weighed by the commitment of your opponent. Alright. I still haven't figured out what to do with this special nameplate. I still haven't figured that one out, sorry. May have to look it up or something. Because we are rushing to a point in the game where we might not be able to 
just go anywhere we want. <sighs> All right. Let's check our quest log real quick. See if if I overlooked anything. So, order to find Professor Johansson. Yes. Okay. Sure. Special nameplate on. The <laughs> I have no idea where that is, and you're not telling me, man. Ugh. I'm afraid I'm gonna wrap up this episode a little bit earlier than usual. Sorry. I'll try to figure out where this nameplate is that apparently Gary wants, and then we'll see each other next time where I hand it in, hopefully, or where the nameplate is. I don't know. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.